Hello everyone, hope you are safe and doing good. In today's class, we have a new combination, combination of square headed bolt and hexagonal nut with washer. So, let's begin with the problem. Draw to scale 1 is to 1, the front view and side view of the assembly of the square headed bolt with a hexagonal nut and a washer with a diameter of bolt as 30 mm, keeping their axis parallel to VP and HP and two of the opposite sides of the square head of the bolt and of the hexagonal nut parallel to VP. So in this question we are required to draw two views, front view and side view of the assembly of bolt is a square headed bolt and nut is a hexagonal nut. So we have a combination of square and nut, square headed bolt and hexagonal nut, first before washer then with washer. So first of all, please calculate all standard dimensions on the basis of 30 mm. D, diameter of the bolt or diameter of the nut, 30 mm. Then point A, D, 24 mm, 1.5 D plus 3. So we are going to take this value for both, for square and for hexagonal part. 1.5 D plus 3, then 2 D plus 6, length of threads, then length of the bolt, L equals to 4 D, 120 mm. Then 2D for chamfering, so 2D is 60 mm, D plus 1 for washer. So D plus 1, 2D plus 4 and D by 8, these are dimensions for washer. D plus 1, 31 mm, 2D plus 4, 64 mm and D by 8 is 4 mm, approximately 4 mm. So for this problem, we are going to start our projection work from its side view, then we will project its front view. So draw a vertical axis and center line for both side view and front view then draw central vertical line or vertical center line now for construction work we are assuming that we are viewing from this side for front view and this is the direction of observation for side view so this will be the side view in side view threaded part of the bolt will dominate then hexagonal nut and then washer will dominate it means we have to draw hidden lines. We are required to draw hidden lines for head, for square head part. So for construction work, first we will draw its dia D and dia point AT for representation of external threads. Then chamfering circle for hexagonal nut, then hexagonal part of nut and then washer. So first of all, draw first circle of dia point AD 24 mm with light pencil and the circle is discontinuous or interrupted circle in the first quadrant so first circle of dia point AD then second circle with dia D it's a dark circle so draw dark circle complete and dark complete and dark circle with dia D and third circle, circle of chamfering or chamfering circle with dia 1.5D plus 3 for both, for both square and hexagon. So this circle is common chamfering circle for both square head and for hexagonal nut also. Then next step, we have to show three faces, three faces in the front view. So we have to draw lines at an angle of 30. This is my starting line. Starting line means construction of side view. So for construction of side view, specifically for hexagonal part, this is the process. Right. So draw lines at an angle of 30, 30 from this line, from reference line and then draw lines from this point this point parallel to vertical axis or vertical line to intersect these two lines similarly on the extreme left side from this point draw lines like this to intersect these two vertical lines so these are my two sides two sides of hexagon extreme right and extreme left sides then what to do then these are my final sides of hexagon so first of all 
draw dark lines then from this point to this line touching chamfering circle tangentially draw remaining sides so these are the remaining sides of the hexagon and in your sheet the side will pass through this chamfering circle so draw tangents or line tangential to these circles right like this okay so this is the side view of hexagonal nut or hexagon or it's a regular hexagon passing through chamfering circle or touching chamfering circle on six central points of its sides after hexagonal part of nut please draw lines from these four points for square head so side of square head will pass through all these four points so draw lines parallel to and perpendicular to first reference line from these points so these are four points first point then second point again draw lines parallel to reference xy right and then perpendicular like this so these are sides of square or square part of the board that is head so this is square is representing side view of head and this regular hexagon is representing side view of nut without washer so initially we are assuming that we have a combination of square headed bolt and the hexagonal nut now for front view please use this limits and draw lines parallel to reference xy so we have to draw lines from these points parallel to first reference line Now we have all projectors for its front view. Next, we have to mark all limits of front view. So starting from this point, first is thickness, thickness of the bolt head. So for thickness of bolt head, we have point AD. We know that point AD, thickness of bolt head is point AD. So we have to mark 24. So from this point, first limit, mark first limit of 24 mm. This is 24. Then after this point, next is length of the bolt, length of the bolt. 120 mm so from this point mark tail end or last point or length of the bolt 120 mm from that point then from the last end from the tail end we have to mark 2d plus 6 threaded length so from this point 2d plus 6 in opposite direction so this is threaded length this is length of the bolt and this is thickness of the bolt next forward we know that diameter D is equals to nut thickness. So D is equals to capital T equals to nut thickness. And we have to mark limits of nut in between these two points. So say this is my first point and this is my second point. Distance between these two points is D, D equals to 30 mm. Point D for bolt head, 
एंड डी फॉर नट नट थिकनेस और थिकनेस ऑफ द नट और हाइट ऑफ नट नाउ ड्रॉ हेड ऑफ द बोल्ट फर्स्ट यूजिंग दीज लिमिट्स एंड दिस इज द सेकेंड लिमिट सो फ्रॉम दीज टू लिमिट्स वी हैव टू ड्रॉ इट्स हेड एंड वी नो दैट हेड विल बी अ विजिबल पार्ट so we can use dark pencil for the construction work so the lines parallel to or just try to make these projectors so these are projectors for head then we have these two limits these are limits for its major dia that is t so using these two limits these are my limits for major dia we have to draw its shank part so shank of the bolt beta t right but for the last thing for the last thing we know that radius of tail or radius of the last end of the bolt is d so is equals to d it means from this point we have to mark a center center of this rotation at a distance of r so mark center at a distance of r then from this center this much as radius r equals to d as radius draw curved end of the tail like this right now we have these two limits for its nut so what to do next for nut again we have to catch locus or limits of the front view so for front view these are limits so first of all draw vertical line through these two points already marked in the center line right then we also know that for construction of hexagonal nut we have to catch these two limits of chamfering circle so these are limits of chamfering circle which we have to take for the construction so again catching these limits up to the locus or up to the range of nuts yes so these are points of the chamfering circle so projecting this point and projecting this point on the last face of the hexagonal nut now from these two points draw a line at an angle of 30 30 from the last face so line at an angle of 30 like this and line at an angle of 30 okay then you we'll have these two points then draw one more line one more vertical line passing through these two points like this so this line is the last end this second line is the last end for chamfering arcs now what to do now we have to draw its faces and chamfering part so we'll start from its central chamfering so for central chamfering this is my limit of face so from this point to this point this is my central face this is my central face right now what to do for chamfering end from this central line from this point from this point mark suitable center for rotation and assume suitable radius which will match these three points so this is my first point central point this is the second point and this is the third point on the extreme ends of the side so we have to draw arc an arc starting from this point passing through this point ending up on this point for which this is the central line and we have to decide its radius and corresponding center so by trial we have to decide radius 
and center and then draw a smooth arc like this similarly draw smooth arcs for upper and lower face and then show its last end with chamfering last edge with chamfering and these are visible edges for the central face right after chamfering of hexagonal nut we have one more chamfering on head part so radius for chamfering on head part is 2d so from this point from this point from the last end on the central line mark center at a distance of 2d this is 2d mark the center and center is 2d and radius sorry center is this point radius is 2d draw a smooth arc like this for chamfering of head so this is the combination of head square headed bolt and hexagonal nut in front view and side view without dimensioning now if we add if we add washer then what to do we have to add dimensions of washer d plus 1 to d plus 4 and d by 8 so side view of washer first what is the diameter 2d plus 4 this is external diameter of washer so do another circle with same center and the diameter is 2d plus 4 I know it's not a smooth circle but please draw a circle with diameter 2d plus 4 64 mm for the side view then we have to draw its front view also so from the center half of 2d plus 4 or half of 64 32 up 32 down which will match these two limits and then thickness thickness of washer 4 mm done and after washer will show its internal threads internal thread means limits of internal thread point a d point a d from the last end and this is the limit of 2d plus 6 so first we'll draw a vertical line like this and then on the locus of internal threads on the locus of internal threads using medium dark pencil draw internal part of thread right now if we consider washer then after entry of washer hexagonal part of the bolt head will not be visible because washer will dominate so if washer exists then please draw hidden lines for hexa for square part of the bolt so now bolt head is hidden and hexagonal part is completely visible now after complete projection dimensioning work for dimensioning we have all three elements head of bolt then washer then nut so we will start with the dimensions of bolt head
right hand last diameter of washer external diameter of washer Next, our dimensioning box for all dimensions. And write all the dimensions in this box. And after standard table, write its heading. Right, square headed bolt with hexagonal nut and washer or assembly of square headed bolt with hexagonal nut and washer or assembly of square headed bolt, hexagonal nut and washer. Now in this assembly, if you want to show, just show that this is bolt, square bolt or simply bolt, this is a bolt part. Then this is your nut, the right nut, and this is washer. So we have to write washer, yes. Washer. Right. After this, now I'll request you to please draw this problem on your sheet, starting from its side view, then project its front view, draw head, nut and washer. If asked in the problem statement, then do proper dimensioning, use proper pencil, show all the dimensions in the standard box and then its heading. If possible, write heading of side view and front view also and if you want to write 
right bolt washer and nut like this now after this if you have any problem any doubt in any of the topic of engineering graphics or machine drawing please write your comments in the comment box thank you